Okay, it looks like we are live, so welcome back. Today I'm going to be uh, doing something a bit different. So I'm going to be trying out a new language uh, called Odin. So I'm not sure if you've heard of it. Um, it's fairly new, right? It's a one of the newer languages. So from what I've seen, it's fairly similar to Go. Um, but it doesn't have a garbage collector, right? So you have to do manual, you have to manage your memory and things like that. Um, and I don't know, it seemed interesting. Uh, there was talk about it on the Discord server. Um, so I thought I would try it out. And yeah, so that's basically the goal today. So I'm going to write a, I'm not going to say it this way, but it's a brain, brain F, a brain F interpreter. Because I thought that would be pretty fun. It's not something I've done before. And yeah, just to sort of try out the language. So this is sort of what a hello world looks like. So I can actually run this. So you do odin dot, and then that's not right. You have to do odin run dot, and it will run it. And there we go. Hello world. So, uh, hello Stam, how you doing? Uh, yes, that's what I'm gonna be doing. So, I haven't really used odin at all. So I'm gonna be completely uh going in completely blind. Mm -hmm. Uh, the last stream was lagging. Uh, hopefully it's not today. Odin, it is a programming language. Yeah, I can put the link to uh, I can go over it. So it's um fairly similar to Go in terms of syntax. Ah uh, yeah, this is like uh, switch case, stuff like that. Ah uh, but yeah, it's a general purpose programming language with distinct typing built for high performance. Uh yeah. So I don't think it's object oriented. I think it's like yeah, that's what we are using today. So I'm gonna make a make an interpreter. I think it's mostly for like game development kind of things. Faster than C, really. Mm. Hey Tim, how you doing? What is up? Something new, always good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just uh taking a break from some of the some of the other stuff. This is just gonna be sort of a one-off thing though, and it's not. Um, it's not gonna. It's gonna be at most like two streams. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So I haven't used it at all before, but I have seen some things about it. Best in C is always a bit sus. Yeah, I'm not sure I necessarily believe that. Uh, let's see. Does it high performance? Yeah, I want to see if it says something. Because like I haven't heard that. That it's faster. The old hater, no respect. Real. Uh, history of the product. Yeah, so it's from 2016. So that's pretty new um, in terms of programming. Uh, yeah, go is there. C. Uh, it does seem, it seems interesting. Mm -hmm. And I haven't tried, I think it's like sort of up there with like Zig, where it's sort of the C replacements, right? Um, right. And I haven't tried Zig either, so how to allocate memory. I have no idea. I haven't used it. I haven't used it. We'll get there. We'll get there. I wanted to see where it says about. Um, I get to love a language more than C. Yeah. I want to see like speed, speed, faster, you know, mm. right. Uh, I don't know about that. Sarcasm. Is that a new way? <laughs> for real, for real. Sarcasm, sarcasmly. Zig incoming after Odin, maybe, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, so what I've learned about the two languages, it's just Odin seemed more interesting to me. Switch to FreeBSD again. Okay, yeah, so let's try it out. So, um, let's see. So, comments. Yeah, so it's like C comments. That's good. Uh, okay, you can nest them as well. All right. Made a Kano PR. All right, let me, let me take a look at that. Let me see here. Kano PR. Mm -hmm. Open help pages inside of Kano. All right. Right. So. Uh, da, da, da. Okay. Let me uh let me try it. One second. One second. Okay. 
Uh, so I think I, yeah, I got it. So it's one red. And then, yeah, so help. Uh, oh. I do it wrong. Uh, let me read it. Um, mm -hmm. But is that not how not how it's supposed to work? Mm. Should I put it in right? Yeah, seven. All right. All right, there we go. So I just messed it up. Uh, okay. I don't know what I did. What I did wrong, but there we go. All right. Yeah, very cool. Oh uh, yeah, that looks good. I'll merge that. Trust you. Merge. All right. Thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, all right very cool perfect all right thank you tim uh okay so length okay so you get the length like that so as far as i know the um the strings are null terminated and also sized Maybe not. I thought so, but perhaps not. Maybe it's just no term. Because I know it's for working with C, right? Um, the null termination. That's how you declare a variable, so that, that's fine. Uh, yeah, so it's like go with the variable declaration. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Import, yeah, so you also do that in the same. Uh, memory arena in Odin is quite annoying. Uh, too many hurdles to jump over just to get it to work. Okay. How about just like, um, uh, like direct allocation? Is that like a malloc equivalent? I don't know. We'll get there. We'll get there. So, mm -hmm. yes, yeah, so you do this. So it has spaces there. I did not do that. Either way. Okay. Uh, export a name. So, yeah, I'm not going to be doing that. It's just going to be in one file today. Uh, prevent it from being exported. Okay. Yeah, so that's packing stuff. Don't care about that. So, four groups. So let me try that out. So, let's do um, four. Let's see what it is. That's the thing. So there's no plus plus it looks like, or else they probably would have used it there, but I'll try it regardless. Oops, yeah. Ah, yes, that's not supported. Okay. That makes sense. You know, a lot of them don't have that. Ah, uh, but we're trying anyway. Cargo. No. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, so cool, cool. Mm hmm. about refactoring Kano, so that there is with Kano with the internal buffer stuff and such, and an anchor anchors fine. All right, yeah, yeah. That is also um, that's been like on the to do list. Something like um things like that. So that would be helpful. Uh, yeah, and then again, like you said before, um, then we could have different front ends for it. Okay, do that as well. 
There's no while, while loops as well, it looks like. So that's how Go. Go is the same way. Can do this as well. Okay. It cannot be written to. Okay. Ah, uh, and runes again, like go. Reverse. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's kind of interesting syntax. If statement, uh huh. So, yeah, that's. Everyone printed out once. Yeah, alright. Base cam, yes, sir. Let's go. How you doing? Tobbs, what's up? Mm hmm. as well switch thing yeah okay so we're gonna use that today as well uh trying to learn php interesting trying to get the lamborghini the lambo money mm, i have not i've used php like just a very small amount so i don't really know much about it um yeah i haven't used like a modern version either i've heard it's pretty good now though relatively Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, you can. Alright, interesting. Enum, yeah. So in enum, you want to need that as well for the instructions. So I'm making, making a brain brain freak interpreter. Mm, I just want to read through first. Uh, so at the Hello World stages, seeing you know, as some decently sized project, you do from scratch. Um, all right, all right. What project ideas do you have? Union types. Uh huh. And then defer. Yeah, so I've heard of this where you can defer, defer things. Um, yeah, Go has some. Hmm. Hmm. Open it and defer close. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, our guy is implementing an OAuth two service. Hmm. This one feels like it's loading. It's that it's fairly, uh, fairly new and gets many new updates. Yeah. One go, but not in go. What? Uh, a chat app that could be cool. Mm -hmm. Discord too. Discord too. What is when? This condition must be a constant expression. No new scope. Okay, that's interesting. Interesting. Oh, he's grasping one. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see. Uh, okay, if in C. I see. Okay. Yeah, so it's like a pre product. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Ooh. I like that. Mm, break. Yeah, so break. I'm assuming that works. How? Break and continue. Fall through. Yes. All right. That makes sense. That's probably better than, than the way it's done in C. Procedures. I can do work. All right, so it's a function. Ah, uh, yeah. So this is like a main function. So it's interesting how that's defined. Though. So the name and then the procedure. Interesting. How did your text editor go? Um, it is going pretty well. So that I'm actually using it right here. So I use it for pretty much all of my development. Now. It's still obviously, uh being developed so it's um work in progress right uh, but it's pretty good you know uh got most of the text editor features here yeah you're using it yes indeed. it's now a self-hosted text editor all uh, right yeah so you can see this here there's some 
some commands. LS is not one of them. I don't like that. Um, yeah, the commands they're kind of um the commands um, they're going to be replaced because I'm also working on a scripting language which is going to be embedded into the into the application. Um, but yeah, there's a few commands. I can open up the GitHub repo. It probably would be better. Mm, yeah. So um, there's actually quite a few features now. Let's see. Yeah, so there's quite a few keybinds now. Mostly, like, they're pretty much just taken from Vim. Uh, what do you want to make to test Odin out today? I am making an interpreter for, uh, for this language. It is a swear word, so I'm not going to say it, but... Uh, building your text editor with your text editor. Awesome. Yes, yes, indeed. Um, yeah, let's see. What else is there? So the command... Yeah, there's just a few commands here. Um, yeah. But they're gonna be removed and it's gonna be different but uh yeah and there's also syntax highlighting right so you can make custom files for it it's really simple right now but uh yeah it is very quite cool quite cool mm, yeah so all these are the key lines so yeah it's going pretty well pretty well LSP support. Not yet, not yet. So I'm working on Kano script, right? That's what I'm calling it. It is my scripting language, um, which I'm going to embed. And then from there, I'm going to write like plugins for it and stuff. And LSP support would be one of them. Uh, people can make their own theme files for like, um, for languages. Yeah. Um, it's a bit limiting, right? In the way that it works. And it's for like C style languages, but you can write that. Uh, okay. So yeah, procedures, that makes sense. Link the repo, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Factoring would also be good for implementing scripting in LSP. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, so that was, I was, um, well, I am planning on refactoring before the, um, before the, before embedding Kano script, right? So yeah, if you, um, if you started on that, that would be very cool. Uh, what is that, parameters, okay, makes sense. Yeah, so it's like go. Multiple results as well, yeah. Yeah, so it's, it seems pretty similar to Go in a lot of ways. Mm, yeah, so how do you... Let, let's get started on on this, perhaps. So it has... Right, I was reading through this, because I haven't implemented one before. So it has an instruction pointer, and then a data pointer as well. So we need uh, two two arrays, and then... Um, oh no. We need the array. Yeah, so we need the instructions as an array. Instruction pointer, which is a value. So let's see. So we can have, I don't know necessarily what it's called. We could have IP. That'd be like a size. So I don't know if it has U size or something like that. But I'll put that. And then I'll start at zero. And then data pointer, which is well. And then we need the array. So how do you declare um, an array? A fixed array. We'll use a fixed array. Array. Uh, pretty useful to write some docs. These comments in the code. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Auto closing brackets. Yes, yes, indeed. So, like that. Yeah. Auto indentation as well. And yeah, so it works for any of those ones. It doesn't doesn't work for these, but um, usually won't have that. So. And then what else? Uh, the auto indentation sometimes doesn't work completely properly uh, when you have a long file. Uh, so that is that is a bug. Okay, arrays, arrays. Where is the array? Whoops, I'm going to search on this one. Array. Fixed array? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so it's like this. So that's, I think that's how Go does it, similar to that. Mm, yeah, so this would be, um, wait, so how's it called? It's like the data, has the data, right? Really cool tool that sets up email for the CLI, really. Comments are bloat, real. 
Yo, Luke Smith, let's go. Uh, interesting. Yeah, right here. Okay. Unrack me configuring MUT and icing with a simple interface. Uh, interesting. Mm -hmm. I should look into that. I never even thought about that email on the command line. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Luke Smith? We all know Luke Smith, right? Maybe not, but... Uh, let's see. Black data pointer. And then it has like the... Yeah, just like the data. So that'll be. Let's make it uh, 128 for now. Not just zero inner slicing. If I just do zero. Mm, okay, well, actually, this shows it's not for the well, that way. So let me see. I'm not sure U size is actually a thing. Ah, yes, there's no U size. Let me look up U size. Okay. Let me see. Perhaps it is just. um. U sixty four. Okay, that works. Oh, so we'll go with that. Mm, okay, so we have that. So we have these arrays. So then we can. I'm just gonna make a sample program, which would just be a string for now. So let me go back to the strings. I don't remember how it works. String. So yeah, right, we can use that. Mm, let's see. So it'll just be not very good with with this. So it we can increment the data pointer and then output it, and this increments it by one. Let's we'll do that, and then that would be uh, printing a new line, something like that. Ah, uh, so we do need enums for that. So let me go back to the enum. You know, there we go. So, you know, you can find it here. Isn't that a good part? Ah, uh, so the name. So, this is um, instructions. It's not the right word. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. You know, so we put spaces. I'll do that. And yeah, so we need these. There's eight of them, I think. So, this is data pointer. Uh, deck data pointer. And then. Data. data, out data, the rock, AO, um, input, data. and then jump forward, jump back, I suppose, something like that. Ah, so that's like the enum, and then we can switch over that. Well, we need to loop over, loop over the base, so this will be the program. For um, for character in program. Let's see, how, is that how you do that? Where is the for? For loop. Wait, say for loop. Yeah, something like that. I think it work. Yeah, so it's not really highlighted pixel, like, so uh, I could switch to the other but. Uh, it looks fine enough. At least the strings are highlighted. So, uh, let's see. So for that, then we can uh, basically switch over C. So switch C. And how did this switch to I kind of forget this syntax. Let's see. Switch. Yeah, so switch C. And then, yeah, all right, that makes sense. So case of... Mm, so increment is that. Decrement. Uh, and then, yeah, so this is... Increment data. And output and input is comma. And jump forward. I think it's that one. There we go. Okay, so we have that. Switch over. So I think we can use something like that. And will this it does work? Alright. So then we can I'll just print it out for now. Check it's not that good. So I should be able to just print out um, C, right? 
Well, okay. Actually, I'll print out the corresponding. I don't know if you can print that out actually. Let's go here and do that. Uh, unclear name. Yeah, so you have to do like the namespace thing. Perhaps not. Okay, how do you, or is it dot? It might just be dot. Okay, yeah, yeah, there we go. So we get increment, uh, increment data. All right, so that does work, and you can print it out, so I like that. Uh, compared to C, anyway. Uh, why do you even need Odin? Uh, it's basically, right, so it's like Go, but with, um, without a garbage collector, you know? So that's sort of the appeal of it. So it's like, um, similar, it's like C with more modern features, basically. And it's not object-oriented. And it has some safety features as well, I think. Uh, why are you learning it? Okay, I see what you're saying. Um, for fun, yeah. For fun. Just because I thought about trying it out. Could be fun, right? Uh, and it seems interesting. It seems like an interesting one. Because I can, for real. Alright, so we have that. So that is, that can be appended to the instructions. So we need actually, um, instructions. So that'll be 120 as well. And that can be, that'll be a, an ins. How do I do this? I need to take this and move it up. You get chat for real. Yes, I need that. Alright, and that does work. So then we can, yeah, we can just append to it. So how do you, is there like a way to append? Or do you have to do, let's go to the fixed arrays. That was done in some way. fixed arrays how do we push to it is there like a built-in push thing mm, matrix types interesting is there like push we're going to append to array hello how you doing what is up? All right, we can just use the lane, the lane thing, right? Right. I don't. I don't think there's any methods, right, to attach to structs. I don't think we have that. Uh, but we can do instructions. Does that work? Ah, uh, yeah, we can't do plus plus. Expected semicolon. Why did you expect semicolon? Right, so it doesn't let you do that. Hmm, okay, and that just takes the uh, entire thing. So that doesn't work, actually. Oh, but we want to use the instruction pointer anyway. Yeah, so I'm kind of stupid. And then we can just increment the instruction pointer. Ah, uh, that's how it works, yeah. Ah, uh, spaghetti coded for real. Uh, for this time, I saw that there was a program image called Odin. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's pretty new. Uh, but it just seemed interesting, so I thought I would try it out. Give me some white space. Okay, 
Okay, and then jump backwards. Okay, and get rid of the print statement. All right, it's actually yeah. So then we can iterate over that for in instructions. We can output OCaml. OCaml is cool. Why? And we'll just print out. And that was uh, too many. I need to iterate over the i. You see my back. Uh, oh, that's not equal. Okay. There we go. Uh, so, increment data. That is not right. Mm -hmm. So, IP plus equals one. Yeah, I don't think it worked. Is that the right number? No, so that's one too many as well. Uh, interesting. Oh, because you use IP and not. There we go. Okay, so that is correct. Odin is the C alternative for the joy of programming. Mm. Is that what it says on the website? Oh, yes, I see. Yeah, it's kind of one of the ones that it's like a C alternative. Okay, so we have that. Um, then we can actually interpret it, right? So we'll start with uh, start with increment and output in case we have that. We iterate over over them. We can switch on instructions. Uh, when you choose to freeze, we reinst it. You realize how much work that makes it. Hmm. Yes. We're going to be switching back to arts tomorrow. So we have that. And we have uh, so we'll increment data. So this will set the data at the data folder equal to uh, place equals one, right? So something like that. And then this one will output it. So uh yeah, it might be like a print character thing, but we'll get to that. So data, data point. Let's try that. Uh unhandled. What? Oh yeah, we need to do the thing. It's stop. Uh based on Windows compared to three. Okay, let's try that. And output's 10. Okay, so that is right. Uh, we do want to print it as a character. So, like, put uh, put char. So, something like that. Um, I'm just going to try put char. I want it to print a new line. Uh, not to clear. Uh, what is that? Uh, string format printing now. All right, what if I, yeah, what if I do that? So, like, um, print line. What do you feel? Hang on. Is it like format? Print that. We have that. Yeah, so let's do something like that. Um, Alright, now it prints a new one. Alright, that is what I want. 
Uh, so we have that. And then, yeah, the rest is pretty simple. So decrement data minus plus one, right? And then increment data for this, we do plus plus one. And this is, this one, so we do uh, minus plus one. And then the jumping is a bit more difficult. Um, this one we need to read. Is that right? I uh, get input or something like that. Uh, scan at. Let's see. Odin, I uh, get input. Windows in daylight and Linux at work. Interesting. Input and output. Yeah, how do we do that? This is Odin. This is Ruby. So this is not Odin. That is something else. Okay. Um, how do you get input? Need input. And add. Ha ha ha. Okay, what the heck? Oh, that's something different. Examples. Uh, by example. Read console input. There we go. So, OS.read. All right, all right. This looks just like, um, yeah. Uh, just like go. Okay, so OS dot read. So we do need to worry about the air. It's not standing in. And what do you so the buffer? We just want to read character. Read one character. What is fine for the internet and stuff? Linux is more professional, real. So you need to read to a buffer, but I kind of just want one thing. And that returns the link. Uh, let me look at this OS package, right? Is there OS? Uh, OS at arms. It's a where packages. If we go there, core. Yeah, so we mean that core, right? OS. Read at, read data, read at least, yeah. Buff IO, perhaps. Mm, I just want to read one character. Okay, I'll just do this read thing. And we need to read to a buffer, so we can just make a buffer. It's less than zero. Then let's see, what was the look like a like standard error? So we can just return one, I think. I think that works, maybe not. Um I don't really need to end up. But then we have to set um we have to set data So data data to equals up zero. Something like that. I uh, know it's from value expected, yes. We can just exit with one, right? Or less down exit, maybe. Uh, uh, if you don't mind, can I ask you? Oh, sorry, I am 19. So I did not see that message. 19. 11. 1, 9. Uh, 
OS is, oh shoot, we don't have OS, so we need to make it uh, for OS. Same age, let's go. Mm -hmm. Characters, are, oh yeah, so it's like room or something? Or bite. Uh, let's do you. That might not work. Well, actually, we can just set it to a 264. That'll work. Right. Yeah, so that is U8. Um, uh, average age of his audience and him is 17. Uh, probably. I can look at the YouTube analyt analytics. Also, I'll type that once. U8. Oh, yeah, so the one goes first. I do, you do like as, is it like rot? Uh, how do you cast? That's a reason okay. cast. Cast. There we go, okay. Okay, you have to do cast. I see. Okay. Uh, Jim Shumai, can you give a quick summary of what you're doing? Yes, uh, yes indeed. So, I am looking at this language, um, it's called Odin. I can give the link. Right, um, so it's a newer program language, and it's meant, um, it's very, sim it's pretty similar to Go. And what I'm working on is an interpreter for this, uh, Brain, Brain Freak. Uh, I'm making an interpreter for that. Basically, that is what I'm doing, and this is what I have so far, so it's not too much. Ah, uh, yeah, basically we have, um, we have this enum here, these are all of the instructions. And then these are some arrays and some values that we need. And it's just switching over the string, like this is the program here. We switch over it and get the proper instructions out of it. And then now I'm actually making the interpreter part. Okay, so that doesn't work. Uh, let me look at how it does it. Use a byte. Okay, let me try to get. And it does output file. Okay. You can add that. Yeah, so that would do that. And then we do the input. So file. So print new line first. Let's actually do this first. So it'll print that and then a new line. So this is like program to print a new line in brain, brain free. Uh, so we need one character. So file. And now it does that. Oh shoot, because we need to um we need to increment the pointer, right? Okay, so it does print it out plus, but that's fine. Um it doesn't print it out plus, it just reads it and then prints it out. But that is all good. Okay, so I need an idea of how it works now. So let's do let's see, so we have that. Um what if we read it too much? Yeah, it just uh it just over reads, that's fine. Uh, let's see, so we output the data, yeah, so now we basically just have the jumping, which is a bit more complicated, so, um, let's see, so it looks at the byte at the data pointer, so that'd be like this, um, and if it's zero, then it will, um, jump to the closing point, and this does the opposite, it will jump backwards, otherwise it will just continue, so, uh, let's do, if, um, data equals zero, then we want to do stuff. And then this one, if data data function does not equal zero. No, if it, um, if it does equal zero. Yeah, so they're the same thing. Uh, but this one goes backwards and then it moves forward. So then, um, right, we just go forward. Uh, so let me see, so there's no wall loop, right? Yeah, so this is like the wall. So wall um data no, instruction. Uh 
my EK with me. Sorry, jump. We do need to check the bandage as well. Right, and this is the opposite, right? Uh, we go back. Yes. Uh, something like that. Uh, D, it is. Where is that? D, P, okay. Data. And yeah, so I still trying to do the input. So that. Uh, let me change the program, right? Let's do um, something like that. So it will be zero, and then we'll just go there, and it will, it will end, right? Ah, uh, no, it goes out of bounds. Interesting. Um, <clears throat> da, 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 da. So let's do four. While IP is less than, really, we need the data size, right? Oh, we want to do inst plus plus instead. Can do this? Is there any? Ah, uh, it's just inst. Uh, I'm not assigned to it. So, is there a way to do that? I thought there was. Then you can set it. Okay. Erase the sizes. Uh, and it's iterated. Okay, can I do that? No. Uh, let's see. So we iterate over that. Um. Let's see. Let me look at these uh, dynamic arrays. Because that was down when I saw it. Uh, dynamic array. Yeah. So dynamic. And then we can append. So we might actually want to do that instead. Then it's not like limited. I, I don't know if that works globally. Yeah, then this could just be append. So can assign that. Oh, uh, that's fine. So we'll get here. You see that thing? Um, yeah, so then we got a range. Uh, let's see. So IP. Append to X, append Y. Yeah. Yeah, so we need something like that. I feel like that'd be better. Data. Uh, okay. Let me see. 
So then we don't have to iterate this. And that's doesn't quite work, but that's all right. So let's see. All right, that's not working anymore. So uh, I think we need to do um, instructions. Um, just do wall, uh, wall. Current is less than IP. Let me do this. Let's create a name. Um, zero. Let's not IP. Then we will, um, as it is we can increment current. Insta sound effect. Ah, uh, where is that? Ah, uh, forty six. It's right here. Okay. Perfect. And I can output anything else. That is a problem. Ah. Uh, Oh shoot, because we don't have because IP is zero. Ah, oh, that's why. So we need to use um the array of instructions. Ah uh, yeah, we cast it. And then stop it. Okay. Size, no. Hmm. Oh, uh, let's see. So this one. Um, index zero is out of range. Data point. Hmm. Because we don't have anything there. So this needs to be not that. Smaller than yes. There we go. So then that works. Um, so we can do that. Can do it the other way down. Yes. Okay, that still works. And then this needs to be less than. Let's create that. Actually. Let's do um. Then. Let's just set IP. You know, I don't think that's actually right. I think we want to use IP for this instead. Uh, it's fine. Okay, and then let me try this. So, like that. So it should just skip over this. Well, yeah, it'll go here. Yeah, I'll just keep going back and forth, I think. So let's do a plus. And it will not be zero. Oh, uh, hang on. Let me think. So if we do plus, it will be one. So we'll just continue on. And then we'll student subtract. Then it will go back here. Yeah, and then it'll be negative. So I think that won't be enough anymore. Ah, yeah, let's output that again. Mm, yeah, it's not going to output anything because it's. Ah, uh, because they killed. Okay, uh, let's look at this. There was one in here. Let's try this. So. 
Let's actually, let's try that. Uh, let's do, this is Hello World, I think. It's a bit very large building. And it does not work. Alright, nice. Ah, uh, yeah, so I think that's gotta be with this, right? Let's see, I don't quite get how how that works. Oh, uh, let's see. So this, um, this will do what? We'll add uh, the current sales value to the next cell. Okay, print out a lot of stuff. Like that, but not. Yeah, that goes out of bounds actually, so that is right. It prints the new line, so I don't get how this works exactly. All right, let's see. So this will sell C0 equals 2. Let's do that. Set it to 2. Then go over 1. Set it to 5. Then we start your loop. Uh, let's open it on C1. And then go back and add 1 to C0. Back 1 from C1. Then end the loop. Okay. Uh, and then has added five to two, leaving seven in there. Add forty-eight to that. Use a loop to complete that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Open that. Go back one. one two, three, three. Go over one. Minus close. Go back. Print. All right. Let's see. Does that work? Does not work. Okay. So it's supposed to print out set. So there is an issue with this. Um, I think it's supposed to go actually one over. Yeah, it's supposed to go one past it. So after this, we can do current let's see. Oh shit, this is supposed to be back to so current minus one. So it's not working. Um mm. Let's see. Find a zero point zero. Then send the, the instruction pointer forward. Uh, jump it forward to the command after the matching. That. Yeah. So it's just go one after. Mm -hmm. Let's print what it is each time, perhaps. Without um instruction. Ah, uh, yeah. Format right there. Uh, or just print one. Uh, so we have all that. Let's see. Actually, I want to see what this does. So let's uh, let's go to this one. And then also print it afterward. And then print it one more time. Okay. It doesn't print out at all. So we never get to jump forward? Okay, none of that. Hmm. It to do with the date. I think you coming back actually. I think it's reassigned. Open a new one. And let's do.
jump back. So we get to jump back, and then we go to jump forward, and then we get to increment beta. So it goes to that one before. It goes to the command after this. So we need to do plus one. It's okay. Uh, then it gets stuck in a loop. Where does it get stuck in a loop, though? We just jump back, and it should be decremented, though. Oh, camel stream? Uh, I've done one before. I need to... Mm, I need to figure out, though, how it works, you know? Like, the, uh... Functional program confuses me, basically. Is what I'm saying. Hmm, so we don't need to do this here. Yeah, it goes to the next one. Okay, that is as expected. That is not good. Let me print out the actual um, thing out as a... Okay. No. Okay, so we get nothing. Ah, uh, that's interesting. What do we get here? The negative one, right? That's not Uh, okay. Yeah, but it's, it is unsigned. So we don't want it to be unsigned. Make it uh, signed. That's the data pointer. Though. This needs to be. This needs to be an empty. Nice. Negative one. Alright, so that is what I expected it to be. Um why is that not? Let's see, so this increments it, so it goes from zero to one, right? And then it goes here and it just continues, so it becomes zero. Then so it's here and it jumps back in the So that that is how I would expect it to work. Let me find a Yeah, this one, there we go. Uh, can I do... Execute. It's not outputting. Six, seven, eight. Right, yeah, so I did that with that. Let me do uh, debug. Position of encode five point three zero value of point three zero. That becomes one. Okay, so it doesn't. Whoops. Uh, both the desk. Sorry, that was loud. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe we could even have a stack for this instead of like looping over it. And we could just set the set this equal to equal to that, right? Mm. Good idea. So when we encounter this, we push it onto a stack. So that's like the most recent. Okay, let's do um Let's do that. Let's see. So, well, we need two. This would be, um, what is it? F stack. Need that unit. And that would just be, um, boom. And then back. Let's see. So, we'll just pop it off. Do we have pop? Let's go back to the dynamic array. Resize. So we have a pen. Resize. I want to shrink. So shrink. What does that do? 
Ah, yeah, that's string save. We don't like that. We want to pop. How do we? We can delete. Go up here. We're moving. So pop. All right, there's pop. Ah, uh, that is what I want. So append and pop. That's that makes sense. Um. So we can do append. Why do we need a boot? It needs to just be um. What do we want to push on? Oh, we want to push the index. Yeah. So this is going to be a that. Yeah. Okay. So we pin that. We want to push the um current. And then here, yeah, we just want to set current equal to pop from at stack. But, um, so it's a little bit, well, let's see. So we want to go there and want to go to the next one. So that should automatically happen, right? Negative one. So that works. Uh, this way. That prints out nine. It's not supposed to be nine. So did I do it right? I could have done it wrong. Let's see. Six times eight. Mm, let's see. So plus plus. Go over to the right. Hit five. Let's put it out here. Actually, let's so find out this. It should be fine. It's fine. All right, so five. So that's right. Then after this, um, time to five to two, leaving seven and C zero. Go there and punch it out. It's out of there. So I guess we're already there. Oh, ah, uh, so that's not right. Where does four come from? So go back. Add one. Oh, let's see. So we start the loop. Go back. Add one. And go forward. We subtract. Yeah, so that's supposed to go over. What is that? Should be zero. It is, uh, well, it's zero, but then it becomes ten. Oh yeah, when we start there, it becomes 10. Uh, so it does say 0. Let me print it with a new line, just for debug purposes. Just to make sure. And yeah, so 0. So that is 0. But why is the other one 4? So the loops clearly do not work. Um, what is the expected thing here? So it would go here, and then it would jump back to here, and it would go to the next one. So if I go to the back, I uh, print Y, and I just print the uh, curve. What do we have? Jump back, yeah. So we need to do curve plus 1, because that's what we go to. Increment data. That's not, uh, that is not right. It's supposed to be increment data pointer. Hmm, it doesn't do that at all. Oh, shoot. Okay, here's the problem. Uh, I'm checking it wrong. It's supposed to be not increment data. My time assertion, so we have an issue, but it doesn't say what it is. On 76. Here, oh yeah, so if um n of f stand zero, then we need to print an error. So we have um print error or something. PDFs are such a such bloat. Um 
single utility application and you need 36 dependencies. Really? Mm. What was the application? It might be print error, but I'm not sure. Uh, oh, uh, OS, uh, OS. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay. ISO image right there. Hmm. I usually just use uh, command line utilities for that kind of stuff. Less bloating. So, why is that wrong? So, a pen. This one is check as well. Why is that? Uh, probably better than probably setting up all the permissions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Why is it fail? Did I do this wrong? Yeah, pen? Font. Ah, uh, hey, let me see what my font is. I, I said if I don't remember what it is. It is hack. Yes, I'm using hack font. Uh, on the terminal, it should be if the config is working properly. Oh, uh, sorry, I don't have a bot command. Right, so that's like an error. So I probably want to use that. So we have jump back. Uh, but why does it not work? Hmm. Oh, shoot, because we don't want to pop it. We just want to... Okay, so that doesn't quite work. Oh, shoot. Uh, I see. Let me think, actually. Um, so... It needs to be like a stack, but we can't necessarily pop it off because we need to go back there as well. Uh, so how is that going to work? Oh, yes. Thank you, Tim. Uh, I want to, like, peek. Is there a peek? Yeah, so that goes out of range, right? It's at 55. And that is actually right. Uh, that is right this time. Right, it's supposed to print out 5, which is 7 in ASCII, so if we print it out like we are supposed to. Uh, yes, yeah, seven. Okay, so let me try. Let me get rid of the print right there. Let's have seven. So let's try the hello world. Mm, next negative one is out of range. Okay. Uh, this might have gotten messed up from. From this actually, yeah. I'm going to manually run it. Uh, let me just use the image to copy. Right, there's issues with copying from the clipboard in Kano. Uh, chip brings mono, yes. Try. Uh, 
try it. Oh yes, this is on. It's not delete mode. There. Maybe one if it's out of range, that is here. Hmm, so data pointer got set to negative one. That's not good. How did you do that though? It's supposed to not be able to. Right, an interpreter, not a compiler. But yes. <laughs> uh, so I don't know how that would happen exactly. Mm, yes, we did anything. Uh, so let's see, why did that happen? Right, because we do need to pop it off though, so we can't just peek it. Um, I'll jump back. Uh, let's see. An interpreter, yes, yes, indeed. Uh, right, so we push one on there, we push one on there, and then we pop it off here. And we want to go back to this one. Then if we go back here, we want to go back to this one. So we need to know the corresponding corresponding one. Hmm. So then we pop it off if we continue. But okay. Yeah, else we can pop it off. So Uh huh. Oh yeah, we need to do uh we need to do this. One time I search. Yeah, so we uh okay. Let's do if it uh does not equal zero then pop it off, because I don't think it's necessarily an error, so it's not using a value. Hello world. Okay, there we go. Yes, so that is what we need to do. Uh, okay, so the hello world list. I'm gonna make sure that one's the search for seven, right? Okay. Uh, there we go. So I think that's the interpreter. Uh, so we can clean this up. So we want to use actually IP for this instead of current. Let me use it. Let's go to let's go here and we'll put this. Back here. Place IP with the size. And then we'll place current with IP. Okay, get rid of that. It still works. Okay, perfect. Um, yes, yeah, so we need the size. Um, it's just nicer to use. Uh, let's see what else. Should be able to do that. Plus equals one. Yeah, yeah. And that's it. Okay. I'll make sure the application works. All right. I was connect to here, and so it's nice to be able to read from a file as well. Let me actually get that. So, uh, working in Jupyter. Okay. 
Yeah, so that, that is here. Now I do need a readme as well. Okay, and let's see. So let me actually factor some things out here. Uh, two functions. So we need, this is like, uh, this is, what is it? Like parts, right? program and then we need an interpret program. Let me question that first. So program uh, there are some uh let's see we need the program right so that needs to be a string. And then, is it called a string type? Uh, sure. Let me go up here. I think it would yeah string type is always called I think it is just string. Okay. Change, that's what it takes, and we will um, iterate over it. I'll just grab basically this whole thing. Oops, I did that wrong. Uh, send a demo on Discord. All right, I'll take a look at that in a second. Do that, and then we want to return. Right, return instructions. Can you return from? I don't know if you can uh, do this. Okay. Looks like that will. Yeah, it took it twice. Um, what we want to do though is create the instructions here. Get rid of this and set instructions. There we go. Okay. Yeah, let me take a look at this uh, demo of the Mutt Wizard. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's see. So, hopefully you can see it. It might be kind of small. Uh, okay. Enter the passphrase. Oh, no. Doxed. <clears throat> Ooh, okay. Oh shoot, is this actually, is your email on there? Maybe you don't want me to show that. Uh, yeah, okay, I won't show that. Just show it? Okay, that's fine. So I didn't even really think about that, but most of it's spam, okay. Uh, okay, cool, cool. So it's like a two E. Okay, that's pretty cool. Mm, yes, thank you for sharing that. I will definitely take a look at that. Ah, uh, yes, very cool. Okay. Let's do that. Uh, yeah, let's just, let's just cast it here. Okay, that works. 
Uh, all right, so that is for parsing, and then we can have interpret program. Okay, and pass the instructions as well as the size. And grab all that. That should just work, right? Try as long as we can set it. So we need the instructions. Which is an array. There's no way I, I can just do that. And make the size, which is 64. Mm. This. Okay, there we go, and that works. Um, and then we can move these into the actual actual thing in here. Oh, you could make like a struct for it as well. These things they aren't global. And it still works. Alright. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. So now the main function. Just like that. So we need one that like uh reads reads the program. Uh let's see. Uh let me make a struct first. So let me look at the structs. I have not oh it's right here. Uh struct, so we have that. Yeah. Okay. Wait, is there like default values? Yeah, let me go up to the actual struct. Project. Okay. What is this? All right. Uh, I'll just try it out. So let's do um program. And then we need, uh, let's see, so what are all the items here? We have IP, IP and data pointer. Mm, we have the actual data. And then yeah, we'll start with that first. So we'll create a program. The yeah, let's call it program. Zero zero. I don't know if we can do that. I don't know if that's how it actually works though. Okay, dark. Actually, that means double, double program dot. I should probably use uh, query replacements. Dot. Uh huh. Data. Ah, uh, that is it, I think. It's not like this. Code name data. Okay, no procedures. Repen. 
Those do not, oh shoot, because it got, uh, doesn't like that. IP as well. Oh, and that works. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let me have it in there. In there. Um, this, I think it needs to be zero, maybe. No. Uh, let's see. What if I just do this? Okay, no. Um, so I guess it's zero by default. I'll leave those like that. Uh, let's make a, you know, read file. And how do we do R things, right? Is there R things? Unless that R Okay. So let's do that thing now. So read file, and that's going to be the program. Oh yeah, I forgot to implement comment parsing. Because this has many comments in here. So if it's just anything else, it will just skip over, I guess. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll worry about that later. So read files, we'll make that up here. I think it's just going to be string, and it's going yeah, to turn a string. So how do we read a file? See, I think it's in here. Uh, read file? Read entire file. That's what we want. Uh, file from file. Yeah, so OS. Read entire file from file. Uh, ooh, it needs an allocator, so I don't know how that works. So how do we get the allocator? Let's look at allocator. Hmm. I don't know. We get there. Uh, let's see. So what else do we need? Caller location. I don't know what that is. Is there perhaps? Streams. Interesting. Ah, uh, yeah, let's see. So, JSON, no. Go back. What do we find? Do we have that perhaps? Not line that line. Right, you can just do context dot allocated. Let me try that. File paths, we have that. File and then that's okay. Does that work? It might not work, but we'll see. Yeah, and there. Then just zero, then one. Uh click on the from file. Like that. And then, and then data. Mm -hmm. Let me pass that to a string. Is that not work? Oh, and this returns okay. This is that's why it was okay and not n. This one is out of range. Oh, shoot, because we don't have any arcs. So, we need to be able to dot. So, it's built. And then, if we make a test of the app, right? and let's grab the Hello World example. Okay, that does work. All right, all right. So, we do have to check the values. 
Hello, Pra. How you doing? What is up? It's less than two. Then. Alright. Usage. Is that? Oh, is that? Brain Frick, yes. Brain Frick indeed. Uh, we can do that. There's no options. And then, the fire. Okay. Something like that. And it's in here. Oh, I stopped it. And we can actually do... And do we print that? I like that print. Uh, Odin, yeah, I'm done. Back, let's go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, I do need a new line. Oh, here. Okay. okay, run that and we get that. So let's do that here. Okay, so it doesn't let us do that. So we need to just Coding build dot. And there we go, so that works. Uh, there we go. So, check that. Ah, you could compile it as well to like assembly or whatever, but I don't think you do that. Uh, for the jet brains, but hack is good. All the fonts are good, right? Oh, what else? What else? So that's that's really about it for today, probably. Ah, uh, that was pretty fun. Good language, good language. Mm, okay. Straight, yeah. So I'm going to commit that, and then I guess it's going to be about it. Give me a prop. Just got here. Rest in peace. So. Ah, uh, let me write a reading. No. Uh, let's see. Just a simple one. So. Brain. Wait, uh, let's go in a, do actually, uh, hit start. So we can do open, build, in, uh, slash, uh, bin, 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 bin. Yeah, okay. Uh, would it be possible to open GitHub, commit messages in the camera? How do you do that? Let's see. Yeah, so we can just sort of write out this. Let's see. So, where is it? Where is it? And commit, new them opens. Oh. Mine is not. Yeah, I don't know how that works. Check issues for can. Oh, yeah, I saw the JavaScript. I saw that. Uh, yeah, I can do that. It wouldn't take very long, but, you know. You have to test it in JavaScript. All right, instructions. Mm, yeah, okay, I'm not going to write all that. I'll just do that. Right here. So, if you do get commit, then you open it. I guess I can do that. Uh, I kind of want to actually. Okay, like that. So if I do. Oh, whoops. How do you say you sent? How's it work? Mm, I forget how you set, um, set in Export, okay, yeah, export. Uh, oh, you don't do it. Okay, I'm kidding, okay. 
There we go. Very nice. Oh, uh, that would also be good. Okay. Yeah, sorry, I'm not good at, uh, not good at, not good at that. Uh, yeah, okay. I mean, I don't usually do this, but, uh, let's see, so we can... Okay. Very cool. Um, it, okay. Okay, very cool. Very cool. Let's see. That should have rewritten it. Mm, Alright. Thank you for kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. JavaScript language support. Uh, opinion there because you can add a description if you go on the next line. Right. Yeah. Recognize that. Why? Why? To do that, ah, uh, here, I can actually, let me, let me open it back up. Well, okay, I can just go here. So, to see it, syntax, right? So it's just this. This is the whole syntax file. So if we make it into uh, JS syntax, you just replace these with the uh, JavaScript keywords. And that's it. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to do that right now. No, I have one next to it. Uh, it just, you know, it's good. I don't even know how to write JS. Mm, official support? Well, that is, that's the official way to do, to do that, you know? That's what all the languages are. And it's, in, it's a C-like language, so everything, like the indentation and stuff, is the same. Uh, yeah, I gotta go, though. Mm, that was pretty fun. Got most of it. Maybe, maybe. Maybe not. Never mind. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, after stream ended. Check Discord JavaScript. Okay, I will do that. All right, I will. All right, but yeah, that's going to be about it for today. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.